Hey friends, today I am at Disney's Beach Club. I have lunch reservations at Beaches and Cream and I've been craving their French dip. But also, I heard that the walls are down for Epcot's Ratatouille attraction and you can actually see the walkway. I'm definitely gonna wanna check that out. So, let's go do this. Isn't Disney's Beach Club just so beautiful? I absolutely love the color scheming. It actually matches the sky. Isn't it? It's just so breathtaking. I have a lot of go-to favorites that I would normally get at Beaches and Cream, but I don't know if I should mix it up today and try something different or stick with a classic. I don't know. We'll figure it out once we get in there. Before I get in there, though, I wanted to come out to the beach and just kind of take a view in because this is amazing. This is a view. <laughs> I like how I said to take a view in, but it kind of worked. The whole boardwalk loop is just one amazing place that you can spend hours just exploring. I've stayed at all the resorts here, so I'm very blessed that I was able to experience it. But if you had to choose, where would you stay? Would you stay at the boardwalk, yacht club, or right here at beach club? I mean, all three are a little different in their own way, and they're all just amazing. But which one would you pick? I feel like Beach Club definitely has the best water slide and pool out of all the resorts. This is the water slide right here. You go up to the top of the ship and then you actually take the water slide all the way over to the sand bottom pool. That's amazing, isn't it? If you're not familiar with what Beaches and Cream is, it's a old school boardwalk ice cream parlor that serves up like cult classics like patty melts and grilled cheese and French dips, along with some amazing sundaes and milkshakes and even a kitchen sink. So we're definitely going to have a good time in here. It is such a fun experience. Here it is, Beaches and Cream Soda Shop. And you can actually take a look at the menu a little bit on the outside. They've got Reuben sandwiches, French dips, and like I said, I remember getting a patty melt because as long as they got the rye bread and a burger, we got a patty melt. But just like chili and onion rings, and then down below is where all those ice cream creations are, including the kitchen sink, the Snickers sundae, the No Way Jose, so many amazing things here. Normally, because this place is so busy, like I said, and it's hard to get reservations, they have a to-go window for all their ice cream, but because of the current situation we're in, they actually don't offer that anymore. So the only way you can get in here is to get one of those elusive reservations and sit down and enjoy a nice Sunday and maybe a burger. In which I absolutely attend on doing today. <laughs> But something also to point out though, if you can't get a reservation, Martha's Vineyard, which is right next to Beaches and Cream, actually serves some of the food and even some of the milkshakes. So I know it's not like the takeout window, but it is an alternative option. Just put it out there. Now it is time for our reservation though. Right here, fancy. Look at that. Now I'm at my table, I can take my mask off. It does get a little bit loud in here, so I'll try to keep the, the volume down as much as I can, but it's just a fun atmosphere. Everyone looks like they're having a great time. I love seeing all the different artwork on the walls, and this is actually recently refurbished. They actually changed the whole entire inside. I don't know, if you guys have seen the old way and the new way, which way do you like better? I think I like the old one a little bit better. The menu outside just had a little brief description of what they offer in here. So I'm gonna pull up the QR code and give you the full menu and also talk about some of the boozy milkshakes they have here. That's what I'm excited for. Like I said, it is a old fashioned boardwalk ice cream parlor and they have some alcoholic shakes and floats. So they have a s'more shake, which is chocolate and vanilla ice cream with amarilla cream liqueur. That sounds pretty amazing. And they also have a tropical sunrise float, which is Ace Pineapple Hard Cider and Rainbow Sherbet. Wow. But I think I'm going with the Grasshopper Float, a Guinness Stout with mint chocolate chip ice cream. I have no idea that just stood out to me, so that's the one. Oh boy. There's the Grasshopper. That looks really fancy though. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> wow. <laughs> when it comes to food items, they have a couple of different things on here, including the Beaches and Cream Grilled Cheese, which I didn't see out front, but it is here, and it comes with a 
creamy tomato soup and you can add bacon or ham to it. And then underneath the allergy menu, they actually have that patty melt that I was talking about. I'm not sure which I'm gonna get first, or not first, which one I'm gonna get. I don't think I'm gonna get them both. I have to say, I think this is gonna be an interesting experience. Now, I've never actually had the grasshopper, or I've never actually mixed ice cream with Guinness before. I did wanna try the Guinness uh, shake that was at Epcot one time, a long time ago, but I never did. So this is like the next best thing. And this really isn't even a shake. I think this is just a uh, float. So it's literally, yeah, it's a float. They just put the Guinness in the cup and then they added, I think, a scoop of mint chocolate chip. And then they gave me the leftover right here. I like how they give you the big straw too. Oh, wait, you shouldn't drink Guinness through a straw. What was I thinking here? Cool. Oh lordy, I think I need to mix that around a little bit. I need some of the ice cream in there. Oh, now this is gonna be better. Oh yeah, this is the way. This is what you should have done first. Why didn't I think of this? Much better. Why didn't I think of that? Now you can see it's much more like a float. I just sipped literally just Guinness through a straw. That's all I got, I didn't get any of the ice cream. So that was kind of funny. Now that I've gotten all the mint chocolate chip ice cream mixed together in there, it's amazing how delicious this actually is. It tastes like a, like a grasshopper or thin mint cookie from Girl Scouts. This is, this is really, really enjoyable. I don't want to disturb the balance, but I feel like I should put the rest of the Guinness in there. There it goes. I decided on going with the patty melt and also I want to get the tots instead of the french fries and she said that you could make the tots either cheese and bacon or chili and cheese so I went with cheesy I mean chili tots with the patty melt I think this is gonna be a good combination I mean this is what it's like it's like grill food diner food and I like it while we wait for our food, I wanted to give you a little look around the actual restaurant. They have a jukebox in the corner. It's temporarily unavailable though, but it is set to free play. They just don't want a high touch surface actually being used. And then you can see they actually have seating all around. But right now, because of the social distancing, they only do like counter seating, like three or four of them. Those are the spots right there. But look at the little hidden Mickey etched into the glass right here. And they're just making up the food back there. Champions, I say. Oh boy, and here it is. Look at that. We got chili tots and the patty melt with the marble rye, onions, and then they usually put the Thousand Island dressing on there, and Swiss cheese, but I know a lot of places like to use American cheese as their uh, cheese on patty melts. Which one do you guys like, American or Swiss? Regardless, I think this looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try it. I think I'm gonna grab a hold of the patty melt first. I love, it's a crisp, crisp marble rye bread. That's how I like it. That is so, so good. And underneath it, they got a pickle. You got a little pickle surprise down there. But wow, I absolutely love it. The bread is really crunchy. It's perfect. It is literally perfect. Now I want to try the chili tots. These look good, and the chili actually does taste really good. I got a little bit on my patty melt. I should have put chili on the patty melt. Oh, next time, next time. I really, really like the tots, but I feel like I should have got the french fries, only because I really love the french fries here, but the tots are really good as well. I don't know. That's a tough one. The chili would go both excellently on both fries and tots and patty melts. Probably the most famous thing Beaches and Cream is known for is their kitchen sink dessert. Now, there's no way that I can actually get this dessert myself because oh, I'll just show you everything that's inside of it. 
The kitchen sink is $35 and it serves four people. It has eight scoops of ice cream. It's smothered in every topping they have. And also they put a whole can of whipped cream on it. A whole can. Back in the day, whenever someone ordered the kitchen sink, there would be a grand celebration. They'd have like a red light going and they'd make a whole bunch of noise and everyone would be chanting. And of course, they would yell a whole can of whipped cream. But in 2021, they can't do that. Or in, you know, that pandemic time, it's not good to actually do like celebrations and draw big crowds, everything like that. So they're not doing any of the celebrations like they normally, or even the birthday ones. But you can still get the dessert and it's definitely, it's definitely uh, a challenge to finish. Even with four people, I feel like. And I guess with that, we need to be moving along. So delicious. I do want to point out all the amazing artwork here. This is the beach club right here. And can't you just see everything? It's amazing, right? Look at Pluto, looking at Mickey eating french fries right there. And then of course, the beaches and cream soda shop. Looks like Mickey and Minnie on a date in the 50s. That's really nifty, isn't it? But my favorite has to be Goofy acting like the Fonz. Look at that. Really, he's so cool, isn't he? Now we're gonna take our journey on over to Epcot and see the entrance way to Ratatouille. I'm so excited. I mean, that's really nifty, isn't it? I mean, it's not like really, really exciting. They had a big construction wall up and now they just put like those little bushes in front of it. But I mean, any excuse to walk to Epcot, I mean, do you even really need an excuse? Especially on a day like today, isn't this beautiful? Wow, we're not even close to a sunset and this guy is looking amazing. It's probably going to be a great sunset. Maybe when we come back over, we'll catch it in its full blossom. I don't even know if a sunset can blossom, but what I mean in its peak, its peak golden hour, that's what we're going to be looking for. So maybe by the time we get back here, it's going to be prime sunset time. I always like to walk under the bridge too. I don't know why. Sometimes you get a good view of the boat driving by. It's just... I guess nicer down here for me. Right as you're about to get here, you start to get the Epcot music. Can you hear it? And here comes the boat. Oh, he's beeping his horn at me. Thank you. <laughs> That's really awesome. Look at that Walt Disney World symbol right there. It also looks like all the lights are lit up in Ratatouille too, or in the back of the France Pavilion, like Gusteau's. And now we are in Epcot. Every time I come to Epcot and I just first get in the park, I always want to be like, welcome to Epcot. <laughs> Other than the actual Ratatouille entrance, it looks like they're testing out some projections on the barge in the middle there for Harmonious. I see a lot of people working and there's lights on. That's really interesting, isn't it? But what I wanted to see is right here. This is where the walls were up and as you can see, they just literally put some bushes here. So I don't want to actually think you just go like that a little bit. But isn't that amazing? You can finally see on the other side. And right there is the wait time sign. That's crazy, right? This is going to be so beautiful. We're even doing some photos here, too. Thank you. All right, guys. Sure, man. Sure. All right. Look the walls, man. They should have the park to close. Ah. very far. Looks like there's a door open right there. There's some people back there even. So what the photo pass person told me is they're actually doing commercials and that's why they have the walls down. They're shooting nationally advertised commercials. So that, that's kind of interesting, right? I noticed a lot of people have been coming up and kind of like spreading the bushes away and like trying to get a good shot. I don't want to do any of that. I'm just literally observing from the outside. I don't want to touch the plants either. And if you guys do come check this out and he said it's not even going to be permanent. I mean, that's just what the photo pass is saying. They're saying that they take them away and then they shoot commercials. So they're probably shooting a commercial tonight and that's why the walls are down. I mean, who knows though? Maybe they'll open tomorrow. 
I have no idea why this is so amazing to me. I just absolutely love it. That was so worth the walk over and just seeing the little wait time sign lit up and then seeing the pathway with all of the light posts lit up. That was really cool. You normally wouldn't see that because the wall was really, really high. Huh. I'm, I'm so I'm so excited for Ratatouille to actually happen. Maybe it's gonna happen real soon. Looks like we missed the prime sunset hour, but it's still very beautiful. And plus we get to see all of the lights turn on, like the dance hall is all lit up right now as well. So I guess that's gonna do it for me. I absolutely loved my lunch. Well, now it's like a late dinner. And I guess that's gonna do it for me. I absolutely had an amazing time hanging out here at Beach Club and enjoying beaches and cream. The grasshopper was phenomenal. And then even seeing Ratatouille. So I'm just gonna end it right now and watch what's left of the sunset. And uh, I don't know, just kinda swing away in the swing. Hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.